What is up guys, TechRex here. So in this video, I got a fully working 6S. I want to briefly show you guys, as always, every single time, it's a fully working 6S. It's amazing condition. It's legit. As you guys can see, there's no scratches on it. Everything is fully working. And we're going to be doing something really cool, guys. So in a nutshell, I have a glass bowl right here. It's a thin layer of glass, but it's a bowl. I'm going to be pouring two different solutions in this bowl. Then I'm going to mix it up with this. And what should happen is it's going to create, the liquid will turn into an expanding sponge or an expanding foam. So it's hard to explain, guys. I just want to show you. We're going to be able to see if this phone, whether it survives or not, in a solid state. So uh, basically, I'm going to put this phone, and it's going to be inside of a liquid. Then that liquid will float up, expand, and turn into a solid. It may take about 10 minutes, and from there, it's going to really, really warm up, and we're going to see if this phone can survive. So here's how it's going to work, guys. So I'm going to show you step by step. I'm pouring the first solution in here. This is 250 milliliters. And set that aside. Now we're pouring the same solution again. So that's the total of 500 milliliters. And then we're going to do that two more times now with a different liquid. So check this out right here. That's the other solution. And it has to be exactly the same amount. And finally, another 250 milliliters. So this is really going to expand, probably like 100 times its size. And uh, this is where it's going to get a little funky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start mixing this. I'm going to mix it really, really, really good. And the whole part of expanding might take maybe 10 minutes so I can fast forward it. But you can see at this point it looks like caramel. It looks very, very tasty. But you need to really mix it well because if it's not mixed, it's not going to work. Again, I got the 6S by the side next to me. And I can't wait to check out. It's becoming very thick right now. I can't wait to check out how this is going to look like. So, keep mixing, keep mixing. And uh, I think that should be good enough. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and insert the iPhone 6S right here. And I want to show you guys. In it goes. I just got some on my hand. That's not good. Let's continue mixing. I'm mixing the phone in there as well. And I think that should be enough mixing, guys. We're going to let it uh, just wait for a while now and see what's going to happen. Check it out, guys. You can already see it's rising up. This is super crazy, and it's going at a very fast rate. I'm not even sure where it's going to stop, so I'm going to keep watching. And it's, it really, really warms up. I mean, this heats up really, really hot. And you can see at this point, it's coming out of the bowl. Wow, looks like golden glitter or something. This is crazy. Like honey. It's just glistening in my eyes. This is amazing. Wow, I feel like I just want to touch it so much and I could feel the heat radiating into my hand. Looks like a mushroom. The iPhone is completely buried in there somewhere towards the bottom. Okay guys, I'm really hoping this does not pop on me. I'm hearing a lot of weird, strange cracking sounds from the bottom right here where the glass is still extremely hot to the touch the top is solid though it's completely dense and I want to show you guys a little bit in depth of how this looks like created this weird seam right here that just splits right open um, I can't seem to spot the iPhone though but we're gonna give it a couple more minutes and then cut this thing open and see what happens again I'm hearing weird sounds just all over the place like this is really 
uh, potentially might blow up. But let me see if I can. Oh, wow. Can you guys hear that? Let's see if I can. Okay. Wow. So that's how the inside looks like. Super hot again. But it's it's like this sponge-like substance. And it just feels amazing. Like you can really play around with this. I'm just messing. But let's go ahead and dig inside. See where that iPhone is. Okay, guys. So it's probably been about 25 minutes now that the iPhone has been inside of this solid container. I'm going to go ahead and pop this open because kind of tired of waiting so uh, let's see what I have here let me try and uh, try something like this put this aside and I think we're making some progress not exactly the progress I hope but let's try and keep smashing that's how hard it is so give me some time and I'll crack this open Okay guys, so I kid you not it took me about a solid hour to crack this open and I finally have a crack right here so I'm gonna go ahead and try and open it up I see a little bit of the phone right here as well from the side but I have no idea at all at the condition this will be in so I'm really excited to check this out hopefully I can crack this open so let me go ahead and just try and this is just impossible to open so I'm gonna have to use a little bit of a knife here And check this out guys, part of the phone completely engraved inside. I can't wait to get this open, but this thing is stuck in there. This is crazy. Finally, guys, progress has been made. Um, I still have not been able to fully get this out, but that's what I'm going to be doing right now. I haven't messed with the phone at all, but this is going to be very interesting to see what happens. Uh, does it even power on? But first of all, let me go ahead and just try and possibly crack this open. Wow. Uh, check this out, guys. I want to show you in detail the back this is how it looks like here's the front guys I'm gonna do this I'm gonna try and power it on um, first of all the home button is functional nothing on the screen I'm gonna hold the power button and the home button and this is taking some pressure Unfortunately, guys, I was not able to retrieve any life into this 6S. The only thing I can press is the home button, and that sounds kind of weird. The power button is completely jammed in. It's crammed inside. There's no way to budge it. Same with the volume rockers. I did try to charge it or plug it into my computer. No signs of life, and uh, it's pretty crazy, you know, considering that expansion probably just crushed those internals. And it was in there for about an hour. It took me another hour to get it out of there. Uh, the texture is pretty cool. 
Um, I don't even know how this camera lens is completely broken, probably from the hammer. But guys, that wraps it up. Thank you again for watching. As always, stay tuned for more videos and peace out.